what is going on guys, it is King RJ here today, I am bringing you another tips and tricks video here, this is going to help you max max out your FPS schemes, no matter if you're playing Firelight, Apex Legends, Fortnite, Call of Duty, if you're tired of being the noob in the lobby and you wish you could pr play like a pro, this video is going to help you to bring out the best of your gaming ability if you want to see more tips stay tuned and keep an eye on this video today i'm going to go through my settings and this is going to help you boost your fps and get the max fps and have the gaming experience that you've always wanted so this is for pc players only if you have a console this is not going to work for you um, but if you do have a PC, what you want to do is open up your NVIDIA control panel. And then we're going to start from the top. The first one is adjust image settings with preview. Now, this one's an interesting one. And this one's definitely one that you need to move or to change. I have got mine set on use my preference emphasizing. I've got it balanced. You can have it on performance. You can have it on quality. But I've got mine dead center in the middle. That way I get the best of both worlds. I get the performance, but I've also got the quality. If you want to just have it on performance, it means it's just going to boost your game, but your quality is not going to be that great. So I've just left it on balance. So I get the best of both worlds, the performance and the quality. Next important thing we need to check out here is there is a little button just underneath that says manage 3d settings now the first one you want to manage is the global settings this one's interesting as well so first one is image scaling so this is the sharpening of the application the features that enables the gpu for the sharpening and the the scaling for the application i've put this on it's a personal choice whether you want it off or on i would recommend just maybe playing around with it leaving it off playing a couple of games and then turning it on to see if you see the difference or if you feel the difference and then go from there again these settings are all personal choices you don't have to use these settings they're all personal choices this is just a tutorial and a tips video to maximize your fps um, ambient oculation i've just left this off um, so that's just uh, the intensity the lighting um, that enhances the depth perception providing a soft shadow effect i left that off uh, this one is an interesting one the anisotropic filtering i've left this to 4x um, so this is the crispness and the texture um, don't go any higher than 4 because you don't want it to be too pixelated and don't go, any, go, don't go anywhere below 4 because you don't want it to be too dull the 4x is perfectly fine the initializing fx double a i've left this off again this is the um, shader based processing technique that can be applied to any program including uh, those which do not support other forms hardware based initialization so i've just left this off we don't need to touch that at all the gamma correction i've left this on so this is the correction for the uh, initialization so you just just leave, leave that on and just let the the correction take over um, from there the initializing mode again i've just left this to the application setting just let the application handle that for you no need to change that guy uh, the initializing setting i've got this at two times again that's the um the effect uh, the edges of the 3d objects just leave that to two times again don't want to go too high it'll be too bright or too low will be too dull transparency is off we don't want any um visible edges of the images transparent then you know the textures there's little clear things that you see on the screen that's the transparency we don't want that on we don't want anything to disturb us while we're gaming or streaming background application max fire uh, max frame rate 60 fps that's all that's my pc and i'm sure that other pcs can handle unless you have like a real high pc that can do more but 60 fps is perfectly fine for me as well 
the CUDA GPUs, I've just left that to all, so I want all the um, GPUs, um, including the physics, which we'll go through in the next next uh, thing to cover after this. I've set it to all. Driver default, again, just let the um, RAM and the GPU take over. DSR factors. This is um, personal choice. Again, I want the super dynamic resolution, so I'll set all these uh, little boxes here, the 1.78 DL, 2.25 DL, 1.5 X, 2 X, 3 X, 4 X, and I want that super dynamic resolution, so I'll set them to those guys. Next is the DSR smoothness. So this is the sharpness and the downscaled image. Um, preferred is 33%. Just leave it at 33% um, and that will cover your sharpness and the smoothness of your your FPS games. Low latency mode, I've turned this off, I've left it off. Um, the latency is the limiting numbers of the frames the GPU can prepare before the frames are processed by the GPU. So we don't need that, just leave that off. Max frame rate, now this one's an interesting one because you don't want to go over your max frame rate so like my my monitor can only handle 165 fps you don't want to go any higher than your max frame rate because it will just be a black screen and you won't be able to might be able to do anything so this is really really important do not go over your max frame rate if you have a 240 hertz monitor set it to 240 don't go any any higher than 240. Monitor technology, I just left this to G-Sync compatible. Again, we just let the G-Sync take over from there. Multi-frame sampled, left, leave that off. We don't to, we don't want to reprogram um, any any of the settings, so just leave that off. GL compatibility, just leave that to auto. Let the let the um, auto take over from there again. OpenGL rendering GPU, just leave that to auto. We don't want to um, touch anything there. Power management mode, you can change this. You can change it to prefer maximum performance. I just leave it as normal. Again, we don't want to overload our GPU where we're lagging and and the PC is not going to be able to handle anything that we throw at it. Uh, preferred fresh rate, I've just left this to highest available. Um, so it'll just go as high as it, it can without overloading. Shader cache size again driver default so let the driver default take over and do its thing don't need to change that there the texture filtering I've put this on so I want a little bit of a higher performance but we don't want any loss in the image quality so definitely turn that on negative bias just leave that to clamp so this is the sharpness and the stationary um, introduces Aliasation with the scene in motion, so just leave that the clamp. Let that let the clamp do its thing. The texture filter, I've just left us the quality, so we want so we'll have a little bit more quality than performance, but it's still going to be even. So just set that to quality. The texture fil uh, filtering, the trillionaire optimization. Um, so this is the um, the effects of the game. Again, turn this on. You can leave it off. Again, personal choice. I like it on. Threaded optimization, just leave that to auto. Again, let the auto take over and let the the auto do its thing. Triple buffering, I've left this off. Um, so this is the OpenGL applications. Um, turning on this improves performance when vertical sync is also turned on. So even if you turn, it, turn this on and the uh, vertical sync is not on, it's not gonna do anything. Vertical sync. Um, I've just left this to the 3D application. Again, let the application do do its thing. Virtual reality pre-rendered frames. Now this one is very interesting. Um, the, they prefer it to be on one, so it can prepare the frames and process the GPU. Lower latency is preferable, but virtual reality headsets. I've just left this to one. Virtual reality, varial super sample, I've just left this off. Um, again, this is to do with the, 
the architecture of the game and the towards the the um, resolution just leave this off we don't need to change that the game's quite um, you know the picture's quite good without it on and Vulcan I've just left this to Vulcan OpenGL I've just left this to auto again let it do its thing if you do change some stuff in here just click the um, apply button and it'll apply um, the settings for you <coughs> Next we're going to go across to where it says program settings. Um, now this one's very important. We're pretty much going to um, turn the same things on as we did in the global settings where we'll go through it again. But the most important is this top one here which says select a program to customize. Now when it says that it means the game that you're playing, whether you're playing Fortnite, Apex Legends, Firelight, Call of Duty or any other game. So whatever game you're playing, you go through your browser list here. Um, I'm playing Firelight, I stream Firelight, so mine would be Firelight 84, and I would set that as my um, my program. And then down here where we got the features, uh, image scanning, we just we've just turned that on. Again, you don't have to turn it on. I like it on. This is a uh, this is the program settings for the variety of different programs. Um, so when it's when the box is ticked, it'll apply that setting to to the program that we're playing, the game that we're playing. Uh, and uh, any CA tropic filtering again, four times, just like we did the last one. Anti anti-intelization FXAA again off. The gamma correction we want on. Uh, the game mode, again, I just let the application do its thing on that one. Don't need to change it. The setting, again, two times. So we, we don't get that st stair step effect in our game while we're streaming or playing. The transparency, again, off. Background applications, uh, the max frame rate. We definitely want this one on so we get the max frame rate. Uh, again, for example, mine's 165 hertz. We want this on, so I get that 165 hertz on my on all the games that I play. Again, the CUDA GPUs, we just leave them to all. System fallback policy, CUDA system fallback policy. Let the driver do its thing for that one. Low latency mode, I have that off. Again, we don't want to overload our GPUs with um, all these settings that we're turning on. Um, we don't want that lag to come in to take over and throw us off our game. Max frame rate again, turn this on. Monitor technology again, mindset to G-Sync compatible. Uh, Multi-frame sampled, we don't want this on. Again, we don't want the irregular patterns coming on our screen where it's going to be blurry and we can't see anything, we just leave that off. Open GL compatibility, just leave it to auto. Let the device do its own thing. Uh, the rendering GPU, the OpenGL rendering GPU, again auto. Power management mode, again you can set it to normal or use global settings like I do and just let the application take control of it. Refresh rate, again highest available. Uh, the initiotropic sample, I have this turned on. Um, so we get that little bit of higher performance and we don't see the shimmering on our screen. Texture filtering bias, just leave that as clamp. Um, again, we don't need to change that. Texture filtering quality, again, leave that the quality. The trillionaire optimization, put that on. Threaded optimization, again, let the application go to auto, so it auto configs for you, you don't have to change anything. Triple buffering, this is one I have on. Um, this improves the performance when the vertical sync is on, so I've turned that on. Um, I'm also going to turn on vertical sync as well, so we get that performance as well as the um, the, the quality. Virtual pre-rendered frames, again leave that to 1. Um, the other two are just preferable, if you want to change them you can, but I've just left them to auto and that's the program settings for there. The next one we want to go down to guys, the next important one is the configure, so this is your monitor. Again, the physics settings, I've just 
put that as the processor for my processor which is the GeForce RTX 3060 so I've just set it to my graphics card that way I get the most out of my games with the performance and the quality and um, you know my movement and stuff's going to be a little bit quicker as well uh, the next one is the display first thing we want to do is change our resolution now I don't have a 2K monitor, I don't have a 4K monitor, mine's only high definition so I've just set mine to 1920 by 1080 and my refresh rate again 165Hz is my max uh, refresh rate coming down here to um, the application settings here we got the use uh, NVIDIA color settings or use default color settings I'll just use the the NVIDIA color settings I find it's going to be a bit more crispness um, and the color settings going to stand a little bit more on my game I've just got this set to 32-bit uh, for the desktop color output color format I've got to set to the RGB um, color output depth 8 BPC you don't want to go any higher than that and the dynamic range I've just left that to full um, again 165 Hz and then just apply your setting um, the next important one is your G-Sync setup again I leave mine on full windows mode or full screen mode I don't like the windowed version I don't like having the border on my screen so I just leave it to full windows um, for window mode and then enable settings for selected display model which is your monitor I've only got the one monitor so I just turn that on and just leave it at that um, the next one is your video settings you can adjust your color um, I've just set mine with the Nvidia settings um, the color is 57% contrast is 60% the hue is 20, 201 degrees and then the saturation is 45% so this is to do with the, the coloring of the game we want it to stand out we want it to um, have that clearness um, where it's not pixelated so that's what that is the gamma I haven't changed anything on the gamma I've just left it the way it is so it's 1.00 for red green and blue and in the advanced we got the dynamic range here it's got limited 16 to 235 so it's pretty much the same as like watching TV so that is your color settings um, adjust video image settings is the next one we go to again I just used the Nvidia settings I've boosted this up to 30% so that's the enhancement shapeness sharpness uh, higher contrast and lines and objects um, again I use the inverse tell sign um, so that's the performance um, for like when you're watching movies and stuff we get that, that sharpness the crispness um, without having any pixels again I just selected the uh, super resolution for the video enhancement just leave that to one um, like we did with the other one we don't want to change it to one because then it's going to be too blurry or too dull we don't want that and the noise reduction again I just use the Nvidia settings and leave that at 30% so this is these are my settings and this is going to help you boost your FPS um, and hopefully um, get you playing like a pro because we don't like being playing playing as noobs okay we want to play like the pros and hopefully these settings will help you elevate your gameplay if you did enjoy this video drop a like subscribe to the channel and that way i can keep posting more tips and tricks to help you with your F fps gaming